had my first night at the new hospital. I was all I was all by myself. I had one had one day of orientation, and then they're like, we'll throw you out there, and hope for the best. But it is what it is. Kind of you kind of get used to it once you've hopped. I think this is like my tenth hospital that I've been at, and I'm literally about to go to bed, and I came across this article. You know, a lot of people, especially I come across a lot of these either online or some Christians, you know, that I work with, you know, some people like, they're like, this is the mark of the beast. And I'm like, y'all, uh, y'all you lost me. I was like, uh, you know, for, for whatever reason, it's just like, and it's just funny. I just came across this article where like, literally I'm about to go to bed and I came across this article on Twitter and I'm going to read it from the, I'm going to read it from the beginning, but I did want to like touch on this point right here. My allergies are bothering me. And this is from the national review and this is the New York governor. And maybe people are just, you know, this is the sort of rhetoric that you come across. But anyway, it says on Sunday, Hochul attended mass at the Christian cultural center in Brooklyn and addressed the congregation, and there is a link right there. And she went on to say, I prayed a lot to God during this time, and you know what? God did answer our prayers, Hokel said. He made the smartest men and women, the scientists, the doctors, the researchers, he made them come up with a vaccine. That is from God to us. And we must say, thank you to God. Thank you. And I wear my vaccinated necklace all the time to say I'm vaccinated. All of you, yes, I know you're vaccinated. You're the smart ones. But you know, there's people out there who aren't listening to God and what God wants. You know who they are. I'm like, wow, that is some heavy propaganda. That is some heavy propaganda in the church, in the church to sit here. And I'm just like, wow, man, this stuff reminds me of the stuff I used to read in the Bible. You get all these false prophets and all this madness talking all this craziness. But such are the times, man. Such are the times. This is, this is some crazy shit, man. This is some crazy shit. This is literally like right out of the playbook of the Nazi regime. It's so weird. It says all this, it says at this hour, despite the governor declaring that everyone in the state must listen to God and do as God wants, there is no complaint from the Americans United for separation of church and state. No shocker there. No shocker there. I think that's the end of the article. Yeah, that was that was <clears throat> that's how this article ends. The beginning of this article is New York governor tells them, says you're you know, you're the smart ones <clears throat> who are listening to God. And this actually came out yes, yes today. This article came out today. And it's just basically another article talking about how. You know they're gonna fire the unvaccinated. They're they're gonna replace them. Uh, it says United Medical University uh, employees who cannot prove by 5 p.m. Monday that they've been vaccinated. It says of course um, they won't be allowed to work Tuesday and will likely be suspended. There was another article that I came across talking about of course that if you're unvaccinated and you can't work, then you can't file for unemployment. Right? I, I knew that was gonna happen. That was the obvious. That was obviously going to happen. I have I have no doubt that moving forward that they'll tie like Social Security. If you are on any, any sort of welfare, it will come to the point where they will tie it to the vaccine. And this shit has nothing to do, has nothing to do with the science. It has everything to do with compliance. Even people in the church talking about Hail the vaccine. Wow, man. I was just like, my, when I read that, I was like, that is just wild, man. That is just wild. So literally, when, when people say that this is a cult, this is a cult. And it's literally 
up in the Christian church. And ain't nobody saying anything. You know, people out here talking about, you know, condemning this sort of stuff. Like, in biblical times, like, she would have been, like, speared through to even think to say such a thing. To even think to say such a thing in the church. It's so weird to see this. And this is New York workers who are terminated because of refusal to be vaccinated are not eligible for unemployment insurance without a doctor's note. And, of course, they're going to make it difficult for people to not be able to get a doctor's note. They're just going to send out some sort of memo to, you know, most of the practitioners that, you know, under most circumstances, you know, to just not give them an exemption. I, 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 I do not doubt. I do not doubt that that is the route that they're going to go. But that's crazy, man. It's crazy that these are the times that we live in. Uh, you know, another thing that I find so very weird even here like again i came to florida and the 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 online community's perception of you know florida holding it down freedom i'm just like i don't see it i see people i see medical workers this late in the game wearing masks still in their car by themselves by themselves, I keep. I got people telling me it's airborne. You got. I'm like, if it's airborne, you're wearing a surgical mask. Like, what the fuck is a surgical mask gonna do against what you believe is an airborne virus? You'd need an N95 at least. At least you'd have to walk around all the time with an N95. And I got these people telling me it's so. And most of these people are young. The average age of the nurse in this hospital in this network is 25. So you got all these young people. Who are not even susceptible, and they're and they're all vac and they're all vaccinated, and the vast majority of them are vaccinated, and they're all wearing masks outside in their cars even, and it's not even like onesies and twosies. Like I see a lot of these people, and the crazy part is like most of these people are just ridiculously overweight. I come across some of these nurses that are like. 250 pounds like 300 pounds pushing over 300 pounds you see like the, the fat hanging off their arms like women with like three times the size of my arms and it's just like you'll do the mask you'll take the vaccine but you won't hit the fucking gym and lose some weight these are some crazy times man and it's only gonna get worse it is only gonna get worse for the people who hold out as more and more people get whittled away, they will weaponize the unvaccinated in every way that they can. They'll push it. They'll. I, I, I would not surprise me when the violence starts against the unvaccinated. That's why, that's why a long time ago, it was a couple of months ago, I did that video talking about like that humanity is like on the edge of committing, you know, the, the, literally all these countries are on the verge of committing crimes against humanity and you got people that are just especially in the medical community you got all these doctors and nurses and respiratory therapists i sit here and have conversations with some of these people and i'm like your mind is is so warped like it, it really shows what's in here like this was like a perfect litmus test for a lot of people to see what's going on in here like all the you know you can hide it for a while you, know, you can smile on your face. Hey, how you doing? Good morning. But when push comes to shove and society is pushed in a direction, you really see what people have in their hearts. What a shame that this is this is where we're ending, like literally like that, like that, how quickly things can change. Like most people, especially when you look at Australia, like. Most most people never thought in their lifetime with the way things were that this is where we would be. And the crazy part is we're not even we're not even that deep into the madness. We're not even that deep. We haven't even experienced the financial collapse yet. And this is where we're at. Like what's going to happen when push comes to shove? And some of these countries opt to collapse. 
Well, then, then you really start to see some crazy shit. Anyway, couldn't leave it there, man. I was, I was surprised when I read this article. I was like, Phew. that is this, this is just madness right here. To read, to read stuff like this is on another level. And like I said, we're just getting started. We're just getting started. <laughs>